everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to show you how to make my new beautiful peacock cuff bracelet. Let's get started. So this bracelet will come with some beautiful fauceted lapis lazuli stones, some African brass and some different spacer beads, and two pieces of Czech glass and some cloisonne beads. And I am missing one bead that I use for the charm. It's a lotus flower one that you wire wrap and add on the wrist with the clasp that will come with the kit. I just don't have it with me to put it on the video, but it is on the photo and it does come with the kit. So I won't be able to do the very last step of wire wrapping and adding the, the charm on the wrist, but um, this is the primary bracelet design. So I'll be going with this one. So because I'm using African brass, it's kind of like a gold bronze tone um, it's kind of hard to mix just like antique brass or bronze with it because it's too dark. So I like to use more of a gold metal because findings are kind of limited on just, you know, gold, silver, copper, antique brass, that kind of thing. So I'm going to start with adding the wire guard and crimp. And I crimp down the ends of my wire guard and pull down my wire. And when I crimp my bead, I make sure to have a small gap between it and the base of the wire guard. That way I can add my crimp cover. And when I crimp, I pinch it twice. So that way when I'm finished, I have like a hamburger look on one side and it holds it really nice and securely. And then I'm gonna take my wire cutters and trim off the remaining wire and add a crimp cover and I'm using uh, beetle on wire and crimps and crimp covers and uh, beading tools. If anybody wants to know, love beetle on brand. Okay, so I'm adding my crimp and how I crimp is, this is just how I do it. Um, some people do use this tool for crimping. I just use my chain nose pliers and I kind of maneuver it around the crimp cover so it's smashed down nice and smooth sort of but it also keeps its round shape so when I'm starting the bracelet the first thing I did is I'm adding a spacer bead a lapis stone another spacer bead and then I'm going to add the smaller cloisonne I hope I'm saying that correctly bead Sometimes it's fun trying to get the wire through those. And another of the smaller spacer beads. And I'm going to do another lapis. And now I'm gonna introduce the larger spacer beads. I love these. These are really nice uh, African brass beads. And another spacer, excuse me, another lapis stone. Now, depending on how long you want your bracelet will determine how many beads you have. So if you want a shorter bracelet, you'll want to have less lapis. Uh, for an eight inch bracelet, I think I did the extra piece of lapis. Um, this bracelet is being made for somebody who wants a smaller wrist, so I will be leaving out one lapis bead. However, the bracelet kit will come with an extra one, so you can make an eight inch bracelet with it. So then I'm going to, actually, I don't want to add the smaller one. I do want the larger one. Uh, so next I'm going to add the check glass and I'm doing the base first. So that way the curved end goes inside of the cuff and it just kind of helps stabilize it a little bit on the inside here, like so, just kind of sit in there and it makes a nice bracelet top and this part goes on, on this side just the same. So this will be what your top of the bracelet will look like. And I love this check glass. It's kind of a milky blue aquamarine tone. It's really pretty. And slide that on there and we'll do another lapis. And this lapis is beautiful. It's a spiral cut with faucets and it's available at tejasbeads.com if you just want the beads. They're really beautiful lapis. And we'll do another one here. And these, these stones too, I wanna to point out, they have a really pretty glittery gold look in there. So it really uh, bounces off the African brass nicely. Okay, so I'm going to do a smaller one here and then our other cloisonne bead and then one more lapis and then the bracelet is done. 
and then I will add a clasp. And then at this part, when you add the clasp, I'm going to repeat the same thing again. I'm going to use my wire guard and crimp bead and then attach a clasp. And then that would be the point you add, sorry, it's my cat meowing in the background. That would be when you would add the last bead. It has a lotus flower on it. It's a really pretty one. And then I'll include the ball head pin that you can wire wrap the bead on and add it um, as a charm on your wrist for the bracelet. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this wire tight. And a tip when you're making this bracelet, you need to leave a little bit of a wire gap after you put your crimp on. The reason why is you, if you don't, it, the bracelet will be too stiff and it won't bend around your wrist. You need to have it malleable so it will bend and move around your wrist. And in order to have that, you need to have a little bit of a wire gap left over so the bend, uh, so the wire, the so the beads can slide up the wire and get that extra space in order to turn and lay on the wrist comfortably. So. I'm just going to leave a couple centimeters here of wire and still just leave a tiny gap under the wire guard here for my crimp, be crimp cover. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. Oop, that one's kind of smashed. Guess that one's not going to work. On to the next one. Oop. Isn't it fun when you crimp and your little pieces go flying everywhere? No, I'm not going to be put on a bracelet. Okay, so I'm going to add the crimp cover over the crimp sometime today, if it will let me. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to kind of like put that up around there and pinch this down like so. There we go. And you see, I still have a little bit of space here between the last bead and the wire, so that way the bracelet can bend around your wrist, which is really important, especially because this is a stiff um, bead part. You'll need to have a little bit of extra room for the beads to stretch out and coil around your wrist. All right, so I'm going to add my clasp. And then for the most part, we are finished. And then that would be the time that you add the uh, charm I have on the wrist. Okay, so I'm attaching my clasp on the end here. And um, I'll be including enough pieces so you can make an eight and a half inch bracelet. If you don't need any, then you have extra beads. All right, so we have our clasp on and your bracelet is finished, yay. And then you would just add your charm on the end and you're completely done. And look at how beautiful this cuff bar is. It's a peacock color. So I thought it would be great to combine the different beads together in the same colors. And again, these beads are available at Tejas Beads. They're really pretty. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And this bracelet is available in my store as either a kit or as a ready to wear bracelet. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or reach out on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. And then as always on my website, andrewbeaverdesigns.com. Thank you so much.